Hey everyone, so in this screencast I wanted to talk about using theme colors in your projects in Articulate Storyline because I think programming theme colors takes a little bit of effort initially, but if you are um, looking for a way to streamline your development, this is one way to do so because your theme colors are going to be more like readily accessible than kind of digging for and hunting for. Uh, for them and it will also uh, help you facilitate easier changes when a client requests uh, their branding uh, guidelines be adhered to. So to access the theme colors what you're going to do is go to your design tab and then colors and you'll see a whole bunch of built-in colors but most often um, you won't find a built-in color that matches all of the branding that you need. So what we're going to do is create a new theme color and you'll see here that you're given an option for a dark background and a light background. We're going to call this uh, Pantone 2021 because I'm going to um, create this theme using the two Pantone, uh, or sorry, Pantone 2020, I guess, the color of the year. Or no, I guess it's 2021. Hmm. Um, so there's two colors, Illuminating, which is a yellow, and Ultimate Gray, which is a gray. So for our text uh, on the dark background, I'm going to, or sorry, I guess I need to explain a little bit about what these are. So text background dark one is going to be your default text color for light slide backgrounds. So as you can see, we've got a black and then we have a black. Um, and then text background light one is going to be your um, light color text on a dark background. Text background dark two and light two are the slide background styles that are on uh, your design tab and can also be used in the textiles drop down menu. Accent one is going to be the default color for shapes, captions, checkbox styles, and radio button styles. Um, accent, accents two through six are going to be um, colors that can be chosen in style galleries and color selectors throughout uh, Storyline. Hyperlink is going to be the color of your hyperlink text. Control 1 is going to be your hover color for buttons and answer choices, except for your drag, and, your drag items, drop down questions, and Likert scale questions. Custom 1 is the default fill color for buttons all your buttons and custom two is the default color for checkbox styles three and four as well as radio button styles three and four. It's also going to be your hover color for uh, drag and drop item or drag items and drop down questions. So what we're going to do here is for the text background uh, dark and light I'm just going to have these I'm going to keep these the same so we're going to have white and black and then for our accent one I'm going to or actually sorry let's yeah no no I'm good so accent one I'm going to make the illuminating color and so I jotted down the code for that which is F5 D F4 D. Okay. And then um, accent two, I'm going to make ultimate gray, which is 939597. And then these other accents, I'm just going to make some variations of, um, of those two. So let's do a I'm gonna do a lighter yellow. And then I'm going 
to do a lighter. Uh, let's see. We'll do a lighter gray. And then I think I'm also going to do a darker gray. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the eyedropper and choosing illuminating or uh, ultimate gray. And then I'm drop adding adding more I guess black tint and uh, or reducing or adding more white tint to create the darker lighter version. All right, and then. Maybe we'll do one more yellow. So, maybe I'll do a darker, maybe one that's pretty close to white. Okay. And then for our hyperlink, I think what I want to do is make that black. Uh, or, hmm, maybe a gray. Yeah, we'll do gray. And then for our hover color for our buttons and answer choices, I want that to be more like this um, really light yellow. And then for our default button color, I think what I want to do is make that illuminating gray or illuminating. <laughs> And then for our um, default color for our checkboxes, I'm going to make that the ultimate gray. All right, and so there we have it. We're gonna save. And now you'll see we've got our Pantone 2021 color. And now if we say add a shape, the default is going to be illuminating instead of the typical default, which is, I think, let's see, it's usually this blue color is the default. So that's how you can very easily um, create a new theme. And you'll see that if you change the theme, um, so right now this is the built-in for shape. So if I change it to this, we're gonna, uh, let's see, have a red shape. So you can kind of hover over and see what it's going to look like. But yeah, that's a, a super easy way to ensure consistent, consistent branding throughout your project without having to spend more time and effort um, sourcing the appropriate colors. And you can also, as we had mentioned before, create a theme font, which will further, so so here we have Arial, and you can do the same thing, create a th new theme font and select the font that you'd like, and that's another way of very easily ensuring that you're um, adhering to branding and being as streamlined and efficient as possible within your storyline development.